This Scott, perfect. Don't let it pull you. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Forward, forward, forward. Good, keep going, keep going. Forward, 10 seconds. Push it, push it. Pull that resistance, feel it, five. Welcome to another episode of Get Your Ass Up and Move Fitness and Nutrition Podcast. I am your host, Peter Gay Barrett with Barrett Fitness Enterprises. And today I have a special guest joining me, Mr. Scott King. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Scott. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Today's topic is staying fit over 50. And <laughs> Mr. Scott uh, King is a gentleman who's over 50 years old, right. and he will just share some of his life experiences, maybe some you know suggestions and some of his opinions and experiences about staying fit over 50. Certainly. Certainly. So welcome, Scott. Thank you. Thank you for having me out. It's a great opportunity. So Scott is a, a media production professional. Correct? Partly. Yes, Partly. I do a lot of things. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, uh, early on, uh, most people know, know me as a uh, media production professional. But prior to that, uh, IT and uh, science is really my background. Oh, okay. But through the course, without getting into too much detail, through the course of history, 9-11 uh, and uh, other things that happened in life, uh, I was given an opportunity for media production. And uh, for many years, I did that. But uh, in my life right now, I'm, I'm a private investor, effectively. So, oh, okay. Uh, that's how I spend my time, and um, that's been uh, very good to me. So it's a new world, and uh, you have to pursue new opportunities. Awesome, awesome. So I know that you graduated from uh, Morehouse yes. with a BS in mathematics. Correct, correct. Um, you also graduated from the American Intercontinental University. That's correct. With a master's in IT. Correct. Okay. <laughs> well, did I, have I missed anything? Music in there somewhere, correct. right? Correct. Uh, after I took a non-traditional right after... Uh, Morehouse. Uh, I went off to Berklee College of Music in Boston, mm -hmm. and I uh, studied music uh, for two years. I'm an avid guitarist, oh, okay. uh, so I played guitar a long time and uh, bands and the whole nine yards. So it's uh, had a lot of wonderful experiences. Mm -hmm. so. so you sound like you're a pretty busy guy. Uh, not as busy, but for a time there, I had to wake up and smell the roses. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So yeah. let's get into the the meat of this conversation. Sure. With everything that you have going on in your life, personally and professionally, um, where do you find time for fitness? How does that fit into your schedule? Actually, fitness is everywhere. Um, the, the idea of fitness is mainly for folks uh, to take a one hour time slot, go to the gym, and uh, between getting dressed and showering after, it can be uh, two and a half hours right. of your day. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, what I found is through media production, uh, other careers and other things I've done, and just staying active, uh, you can get a lot done as far as fitness. Uh, even if you have to do uh, yard work or something like that, that's a big haul of work, and you get on a scale the next day and be like, okay, that was two pounds, but uh, That's right. I stayed active. Okay, because so. what I always tell people is all you need is 30 minutes. Ideally. Right, right. right. I mean, I know I can get a good workout in, in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, burn some decent calories exactly. and get a good workout going. I remember even as a college student, uh, you, know, you had your class schedule, you're busy all day, but I would have an hour off and say, hey, I can run over to the stadium and get some work in and get back in and shower and get back out. So that's right. uh, that worked out too. And that's how I did it in college actually quite mm -hmm. a bit. So I tried to get everything during the day because I knew I had to study at night. Right. But I always got a workout in it. It is possible. Right, right, right. So take us through um, your fitness journey, you know, as, mm -hmm. a, as a young kid in high school where you were, I think you were tracking in high school, didn't that's you? That's correct. That's oh, correct. Okay. So yeah. take us through your journey and, you know, high school, um, you know, as a, the teenager, as you got older, got into work and professional and life and family. Take us through that journey and what it was like yeah. for you. I'll one up you there. I'll take you back to middle school. Okay, okay. I, I had the fondest memory in middle school. Uh, I, I played soccer. I was a terrible goalie and everything, but I started off early with sports and uh, staying active in uh, sports in the schools. From there, I did the traditional four years of track. Um, I was the uh, running back in high school uh, okay. and everything. I did the season didn't work out per se. I don't have that big story to tell the big play. I stayed extremely <laughs> active in uh, high school sports. Okay. So when I got to college, I said that's enough. But um, the takeaway from high school was that I had uh, I had an excellent uh, uh, blueprint okay. or playbook on how to uh, stay fit. 
So I had a, I knew when to how to stretch and mm -hmm. do those things prior, staying hydrated for the workout, and uh, so that really kept me in tune for life. Mm -hmm. on how I need to do a workout, even to this day, even right. to this morning. Right, and that's a very good point, Scott. I, mean, I guess I never really thought about it that way. Yeah. You know, as an athlete myself, as mm -hmm. long as elementary school, mm -hmm. you know, as I got to college, certain things just kind of came naturally to me, or I thought so, but it really was probably what I learned in high school or mm -hmm. in middle school or, you know, wherever that kind of took me through college and now, you know, yeah. as, as, as an adult. Um, do you find that it gets harder to stay fit and healthy as you get older? I want to say yes and I want to say no. Uh, life evolves. Uh, I remember uh, my science, eighth grade science teacher, a quote I never left, uh, the, the energy is never lost. So that told me that uh, life as a middle schooler and life as a grown adult, 52 years old, um, can be, is not much different. You just have to uh, adapt to your environment. Right. So now that you're a grown adult with, let's say, a job, uh, family, relatives pulling at you, that cousin we all want to address. <laughs> and, That's um, right. That's we right. all have things to think about, but uh, get the workout doesn't change. You just have to prioritize. Mm -hmm. When you're uh, in school or on an uh, athletic team, you know you have practice at 4 o'clock every day. That's your time slot. My, my right now, um, exercise is each day at, uh, when I wake up in the morning. That's my time slot. Right. So it's just a matter of prioritizing and just being ready for that moment. Mm -hmm. So you, you prefer to work out in the mornings? Yes, that's oh, my, oh, okay. my preference. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then tell us why, why do you prefer to do that? Um, well, <clears throat> working out in the morning, it just works out for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the day can get caught up, things come up, and by the time you say, oh, I'll work out at four o'clock, that may not work out, Right. no pun intended. Uh -huh. But first thing in the morning, I know I can just get up, uh, take 45 minutes before a shower mm -hmm. and just get going. Right, yeah. So, so for me, I, I prefer to work out in the af afternoons. Mm -hmm. I um, love to, as soon as I get off of work, I just go straight into the gym or straight into a run or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of helps round off my day. You right. know what I mean? So I guess, you know, different people, is, there's no, no one size fit all or no magic to it, right? Exactly. It's just what works for you in, exactly. in your personal life mm -hmm. and fit into, into your schedule, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what are some of the challenges that you may have experienced as you mature in age um, as it relates to staying fit and staying healthy? Actually, um, you have to get real with yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm 52, I'm not 22. So if I run 100 meter, I'm not, I'm not out of the blocks as quick. That's right. I weigh a little more <laughs> and everything, but I do have an edge. I'm more mature, I have that wisdom mm -hmm. and everything. So if I say, oh, I'm tired, I have that mindset to know, let me complete that short term goal. Mm -hmm. Let me make mm -hmm. it to that line. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the big thing I take with me there. Okay, so you use your your experience to your ad advantage. To your benefit, that's right, 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 right. So um, take us through maybe your current um, workout routine. What does that look like to to for you on a daily basis? Okay, well, we'll start uh, even before that. When I wake up, um, I have a uh, nutritious breakfast, most important meal of the day. Okay. Uh, typically, three eggs and uh, some kind of spinach or a fruit, uh, lots of hydration. And then I'll take a break for about 45 minutes to let it settle in. Okay. And this, these days, because of quarantine and the new lifestyle and everything, mm -hmm. um, I go on a one mile walk in the morning. I come back with a jump rope, about a couple of minutes of jump rope. So I got some cardio and got those muscles going on. Okay. And then I come in for a dumbbell routine. I dust it off like many folks. I dust right. it off my equipment, found those dumbbells. So I just do that routine in the morning and um, that's what works out for me now. And that takes about an hour. But in the other world, if the gym were open, mm -hmm. uh, I would dress up, get in. Uh, I do about 20 minutes of stretching at the gym. Uh, then uh, I'll do. I'll go for a short run, and I'll come in for a, a, a workout routine if I'm by myself. So, right. And after that, I would um, that would wrap it up mm -hmm. at the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're you're trying to stay away from the gyms with because the gyms are have reopened, right? I, I made a personal commitment at this time, personal mm -hmm. that I say, well, after Labor Day, I'll see what's going on. Right, right. Good, good, good for you. Um, so, what is what is the diet? What does Scott King's diet and nutrition look like? And do you think that you had to make some changes to the way you eat? Um, you know, as you get older, and and if that's the case, at what age did you find that you had to make such changes? 
Well, um, historically, I learned quickly playing high school sports I talked about mm -hmm. that um, I had to pick and choose. If I really wanted that strength as a youngster, I said, wow, this diet really uh, takes part of that. I was never, now this is from the start, I was, I never really drank alcohol. I do, but it's extremely mm -hmm. rare. Mm -hmm. So I was never that guy that, and, I, and I, after my reading and research, I said, well, this doesn't pack. Good so for you. Um, that and um, uh, small portions, uh, I just did a lot of reading, and that information is free. Mm -hmm. So I had the um, that information and the fried foods and those kinds of things. So the key is to just get educated That's and right. everything. Now, like you said in your other video, I have a ding dong or <laughs> get some of that hook up every now and then, but right. you have to know that okay, that's good. I'm good for the week. That's right. And that's that's right. right. This is not a, uh, a daily ritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, throughout the day, it's usually small portions. Right. Breakfast is the most important meal, and yes. after that, I'll have a good lunch. And um, but I'll generally eat fruit, grapes throughout the day. Snacks throughout. It's not a perfect system, but it's a plan. Mm -hmm. And it works. It works mm -hmm. for you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So have you ever, um, at any stage in your life, have you ever been on a diet? You know how some people were like, oh, I just, you know, I'm just trying to lose this quick 30. So let me go on the keto diet. You know, what, what's your opinion on, on diet? I did have a program, but it was actually through a doctor and they put me on something and it was very effective for males. So this is true. Within 10 weeks, I lost 50 pounds. Wow. And, uh, I did trim down, but, uh, it's like an astronaut uh, thing, powders mm -hmm. and things like that. But right. I felt like I was getting ready for a movie role or something. Right. So um, it really did work, and they were shocked at the results. But when I'm on a plan or if a doctor tells me, I will follow it to the T. Mm -hmm. So I cut out this, I cut out that, and I dropped it. Right. In another case, I did have a personal trainer for a few months. Oh, no? okay. And, um, I think I remember seeing yeah. videos. Yeah, that was videos. Online, and on that was very effective. And I lost 30 pounds in three months. Very nice. Uh, through... Uh, probably a better method, uh, just the hard work and proper diet. But I cut out the bread, the usual stuff, and um, alcohol was not an issue. But uh, and made sure this is one thing a lot of people overlook: uh, get on a strict sleep regimen. Oh Make sure God, you yes. go to bed. At, I go to bed at about eleven twenty, and I'm up at six thirty or seven mm -hmm. every day. Good for you. Yeah, because as I understand it, that's when your body's really trimming off the weight. It's working. Yeah. That's right. And a lot of people do not understand that we actually burn calories as we sleep. Right? Exactly. I mean, you're your, breathing. That's right. That's right. Your heart's going. There's blood flowing through your body. You know, the rest of your lung. Everything is working. Mm -hmm. You know, you you we even burn calories as we use the bathroom. We're burning yeah. calories as we sit here now having. Exactly. This converse, conversation, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it's not, I think some people take it a little bit too seriously, mm -hmm. um, you know, as we try to get on these diets and, you know, kill yourself in the gym yeah. seven days a week, you know, yeah. and, and so forth. But what, are there any specific workout um, style that, you know, suits you or you think is more suitable for, a, you know, a person over 50? Here's the thing, um, do your workout, but it's a new mindset. Uh, you're no longer on the track team. Uh, that football contract's not going to happen. That's probably, right. Not now. <laughs> so now it's more about leaning forward, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about you've got 65, 70 on the radar. You have to think about ahead. So now it's just about making sure you're taking care of that engine so you can get 100,000 miles out of it. That's right. Per se, if you a car That's analogy. So, um, so it's just that new mindset. So you're, you're reading articles, staying educated, advocating to relatives. Mm -hmm. and trying to set a good example to those behind you. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in the gym, uh, you know, I'm, my birthday, uh, they had the burpee thing, but I did 52 push-ups, and, and I saw a lot of the guys much younger than me, they couldn't do, That's and right. I was like, come on, man, I'm, I knocked it out. What's, you have to challenge them and show right. them. And it's like, well, you know, they, they were like, oh, I got this. I said, wait 20 years. Uh -huh. you know, <laughs> then you can talk the smack. You know? Right, right. But uh, it's just a new mindset at that age bracket. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell the... Uh, that's what I generally tell folks, and that's how you have to think about it. Right. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of my, my uh, college peers or peers my age or people, they see you working out, posting the videos, and they're like, wow, you're getting me motivated. And I said, well, it's not as bad as you think, you know. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the first thing that comes out of uh, hypothetical, hypothetical citizen, citizen A is, uh, well, I just don't have time to work out. I said, well, you had time to do that thing you wanted to do the That's other day. Right. You got dressed, That's right. you did everything you needed to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did you get out of it? I said, I worked right. out today and I might have increased my lifespan in two months. I don't know. That's but, right. Or I might have derailed some health issue I didn't know about. So mm -hmm. um, you have to stay on point there, but uh, you have to treat the workout like a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm getting my car looked at. Uh, 
maybe I got that interview with that big uh, producer I've been trying to mm -hmm. move my career along. You know you're not going to be late. That's right. Your, your workout is just as important. And then it's only three times a week, mm -hmm. one hour at most. Right. So, That's right. And then there's some little things you can do. And this is, we've heard this before. If you go to the grocery store and they got 10,000 parking spots, Park in the back and walk it in. Yeah. You just knocked out a 400. That's right. You know? That is right. Yeah. Take you know the stairs saying? instead of the elevator. And you might elevator. make State Farm happy because no one's going to hit your car, right? <laughs> that is right. And so yeah. uh, little things like that. Uh, take the stairs as opposed to the elevator. You've mm -hmm. heard it all before. It's mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. but, uh, um, Things like that can really make a difference. And right. also um, uh, just stay active. I mentioned the uh, early on, I mentioned uh, yard work. Mm -hmm. You know, do yard work all day Saturday. And I know factually, my lawn takes me 45 minutes of push mowing. I probably walk a few miles, I push anything around. That's a good workout. Right, that's you know, right. It's a power workout because I got to push so much mm -hmm. more too. And you're probably working your whole body and yeah. getting some cardiovascular mm -hmm. work in your heart, you know, as you're yeah. doing that. So Yeah, and I'm kind of, a, as they call it, a garage gearhead. Mm -hmm. I'll be on the garage working on something. That's a great workout. It is. It requires a lot of mental concentration, you know, staying mm -hmm. active. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to look at the bigger picture like that. There's never really an excuse. Right. Um, if your idea is like get that big plate, sit on the couch and watch TV, uh, if that's a daily, you can throw in a towel. Yeah. But not in a bad kind of way, but you're really hurting your efforts mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I do that. I'll get the popcorn and I'll watch Avengers and, you know, go into character and all that stuff and have fun with it. But uh, I don't do it that often. TV is less a priority. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, working out is not about the muscles, it's also, also about the mind. Mental, right, um, it's a whole balance, right? Yeah, mind, stay educated, body, right? stay educated with the news and everything. Mm -hmm. And also I want to say one thing about my workout personally, even my trainer will tell you this, uh, I dress if I'm going to prom, I dress if I'm going to a job interview. I'm on your show, so I put a little something on, right? That's right. On camera. Mm -hmm. But I dress for my workout too. Mm -hmm. uh, have, have a bit of self-esteem with your workout. Right. Uh, make sure your shoes are in order. They're not worn out. You're going to injure your ankle and everything. So That's right. You have to make a small investment in your uh, workout fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, and go into character. You know. Yes. I'm a big uh, Marvel fan, so I feel like I'm the missing Avenger. I'm the missing X. I love it. And uh, <laughs> for for that hour of power, no pun intended. On uh, for that hour of power, I'm a superhero doing right. super character things, mm -hmm. and um, that's what keeps me motivated uh, for that hour. But uh, my trainer will tell you, I said, you're always coordinated and everything. I said, well, it's important to me. I'm dressed for the role and everything because right. I'm about to knock this out. So, so good for you because yeah. I notice I myself do that. You know, my sister and I will have this conversation. When I'm going to the gym, I love to feel good, right? And sometimes it might take just a brand new shirt or, you know, brand new shoes or, mm -hmm. you know, something that you look good in when you exactly. look in the mirror. And that's perfectly fine. But I find... Women do that, but men not so much. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It depends uh, on what your, your your definition of fashion. I know some people are getting ready for a show and they do the sweat thing. To mm -hmm. each their own in the gym. Mm -hmm. It's a very private environment. Right, you know? right. I would never look at uh, Sally Sue and say, oh, you got that thing on. You're trying to look sexy. Today. I don't know what they're preparing for, what their mindset is. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's a personal thing, and uh, right, right. I know I do my thing, and people, mm -hmm. say, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, and I was like, I can pick up that dumbbell over there. That's my main concern. That's right. right. That's so right. I don't really yeah. get into the. Yeah. Well, I just don't approve of what I think I see. I said mm -hmm. I didn't come here for you. Right. I paid a fee to get a service, and that's it. Good so. for you. Good, good for you. <laughs> so you touched a little bit on um, motivation. Where where does your inspiration come from to keep you? pushing through, you know, as you turn 50 and, you know, some people, oh, let me retire and just sit at home, you know, life yeah. is downhill now. Where does your, where does Scott King's inspiration come from? Well, I've always had that inspiration, but it got real for the last 10 years. Uh, as you get older, one of the byproducts is you lose relatives. Yeah. And uh, some of them made choices, personal choices and habits they had, and I'll just say they finally caught up with them. Right. You know? So... Uh, that was difficult to watch, but it kind of uh, affirm affirmated uh, my point that, hey, I need to, the torch is mine now. Mm -hmm. I have to take this as far as I can go. So let me stay in shape. Let me make sure I'm on point. And uh, this little gym fee is really nothing. And it's an investment uh, to make sure I'm mm -hmm. good to go. Yeah. Um, 
So it sounds like more of your inspiration come from within. Yeah, yes. yeah, but that's through observation though. Um, oh, I see. Seeing some of the relatives, and I know. We, I see. We all have relatives. We can't control it, but uh, mm -hmm. Aunt Susie had that thing she liked to do, or you know, various things that we know are bad for mm -hmm. us. But people really didn't say. But you watched that your whole life, and mm -hmm. then you saw the demise of it, and. Uh, that was a little difficult to absorb, and I said, I'm never going to be like that. You Good know? for you. Good yeah, for so you. So I've always kind of been that way, yeah. and uh, if my nieces and nephews talk about me, I was like, oh, he can beat me in the hunger. That's problem. right. That's yeah, right. I'm I not, pride myself in that as well. I'm not, they're <laughs> not going you know, to go head to head with my uncle. So, right, you know, right. They're probably going to say that. So... Um, uh, that's a good thing to know. But also, when I talk about that Marvel being an Avenger and everything, mm -hmm. sometimes that comes into play. You know, I do... As an of, inspiration for you? Yeah, because mm -hmm. when I'm out of the gym and I'm on my private time doing that yard work, or maybe you come across a car accident, you have to, you need that energy. You'd be right. like, I'll be darn thankful I'm in shape. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've, I've told people, and I hate to see this on the news, of floods, hurricanes, and... People are presented with a challenge where they suddenly have to swim across to save their life or something like that. Mm -hmm. You have to stay in shape because you never know when you're going to have to be right. that superhero. Right. And, uh, you know, open it up and the S That's comes right. out. I think I got a little S on today. <laughs> um, I see it. Yeah, yes. I got the S on today. So. He has the S on. <laughs> yeah. So you never know when you're going to have to be that superhero when right. uh, that 50 plus year old uh, comes, kicks into effect mm -hmm. and you'll have to. Be, a, be another person. Right. So are there any perks to being fit over 50? And if so, what would you say those are? Um, just that thing I pointed out, always having that energy. Mm -hmm. uh, your self-esteem is high. When you get mm -hmm. dressed up, you feel like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when you hear these younger guys talking, uh, you, you're like, uh, oh, I ran, I did that. You that's know? right. And Been I can there, still don't. do it now. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. um, that's the neat part about it that I really like is that... Uh, your self-esteem is just very high. That's, That's right. Amazing. Okay, so as we wrap up here, a um, couple of other big questions, and one, sure. I guess, is, is more related to the current events. Okay. Um, how has COVID-19 affected your overall health, your overall um, fitness? Uh, generally, um, I was kind of a, I won't call it a lone wolf, but I, I was never a groups guy, and, uh, you know, okay. I always maintain best practices in general, washing hands and things like that. But uh, it made you a little more cognizant and it gave you a chance to uh, educate others because uh, all these new norms kicked in and a lot of people, some of the things were new to them. And it's like, I can't do that anymore. Uh, well, you probably should. Right. Maybe you shouldn't go to that party or, you know, they're, they're not on TV saying things just for fun, you know, mm -hmm. this is for your own dealing. But, um, it affected me uh, in a humble way. I had to find my home gym equipment. Oh, there <laughs> you go. Out. That was the biggest thing that happened. Right. I was like, where are those dumbbells? And I never had pulled them up. Right. But, I, but you uh, had them at home. You just had to they go were buried pull away them out. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I got that together. But uh, prior to joining the gym, uh, religiously per se, I, uh, I did a lot of cycling. I stayed extremely active yes, uh, in other I ways. See. Yeah. So it was nothing new. I had the equipment already there. So mm -hmm. I just had to morph or. or uh, uh, a change my fitness routine on a right. personal note. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then um, one last question as we wrap up here, Scott. Um, are there any advice that you would give to um, someone who is, you know, getting up there in age? Um, you may be over 50, even, you know, 40. <laughs> some people think, you know, that is old. <laughs> um, some people think, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, any advice that you would give to someone who's over 50 mm -hmm. who um, is probably struggling with maintaining their, their health and their overall fitness? Um. Well, as the musicians say, when I say I wish I played the keyboard, they say it's never too late. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. you can always do something. But remember, if you're 50 plus, you remember uh, you're a leader now. It's your turn to lead. So somebody younger than you is always watching you to get that inspiration. That's right. So find it. If you are, uh, if walking is your only option, um, you want to start a walking program, say, okay, let me make it to the street corner and back. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'm going to go around a little further mm -hmm. and back. So your inspiration could be to set small goals. I don't right. sound like a commercial or something. To set, <laughs> uh, set uh, short-term goals mm -hmm. that works for you. Don't mm -hmm. worry about the next guy over running 400 intervals at will. Right. But you can do that on your own. And um, But I get that a lot. I said, well, just 
It's like riding a bicycle. We'll go to the church parking lot after church is over and just kind of figure it out mm -hmm. and do what works for you right, and everything. Right. And I do the same thing. Even I take a break. I don't work out for 10 weeks and I want to get back into it. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I know I can't run those two miles like I used to, but I'm going to run down the street and back and work my way up. Mm -hmm. So within two weeks, I'm able to do that mile and then I go from there. Right. But right. Um, 50 plus, you have to remember you're a leader now and others are watching you. Mm -hmm. So grab the torch and move it forward. And, I love uh, it. I and love lead it. the way. Yes, yes. You are a leader now. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, I hope a lot of people who are over 50 feel that way mm -hmm. and, you know, have people that look up to them because yeah. they're looking to us, you know, for inspiration. You yeah. talk about your nieces and your nephews. I have nieces and nephew, you know, as well. And when I post videos online, I know they're looking at me. Exactly. Because when they're around me, I see them do some of the stuff that yeah. I do and that, you know, I get inspiration from mm -hmm. from that as well. So, mm -hmm. um, well, thank you so much for joining us, Scott. Is there any other advice or anything in general, anything that you felt like I have missed that someone over 50 may want to hear, you know? Um, I thought of one thing, uh, you know, I remember watching a movie and the psychiatrist was giving advice to one of his patients and he's, and they got on this whole thing, baby steps. Mm -hmm. Remember, just start with baby steps. I want to end the movie and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But uh, just remember baby steps so when you're starting out and work your way up. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you're not going to be uh, that great hurdle or whatever, but just work your way up. There's never an excuse uh, not to start exercising. Right. Because uh, you're benefiting from it. Your family members are going to enjoy having you around a little That's longer. That's right. And uh, it's not difficult at all. And you're going to feel like a million bucks. And, and lastly, you may have to be that superhero. That's, that's right. Like, that is that's true. That's within that you they may have to come out. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you could just be driving down the interstate and there's an accident right in front of you, right? Exactly. You have to hop out of your car and, you know, yeah. get that Superman yeah. powers going. Yeah. And I'll say, I'll say lastly, if the audience wants to, I'm 52 now, um, just to throw some personal metrics out there. Totally. For mm -hmm. um, at age 18, I benched 360. And I was on the football team competing with the guys. Wow. and. My college nickname at Morehouse was Bam Bam, you know, like the character on the Flintstones. Oh, okay, you know, yes, yes, yes. He lived the house and threw him because <laughs> I was always a strong guy. But um, that was me, but uh, I was able to keep that up. I can't do that anymore, but up here it's still there. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's just a tone you have to set. But uh, you're right, I'm older now, but mentally I know... If I really had to do something, I could do it because I believe I can. Right, right. And you find that your life experiences, that you've things that you've learned at an early stage in your life, you've carried through mm -hmm. even to today, and it's helped you physically and psychologically. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so very much, thank Scott, you. for joining us today. This was a great conversation, yeah. and I'm sure we can have another topic that we can bring you on. Thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> we thank are you. on episode number 23, you guys, of Get Your Ass Up and Move Fitness and Nutrition podcast. And special thanks to my friend Scott. So, Scott, you. are you on social media? You know, I'm sure there's someone yeah. out there who you know may get I some inspiration. I do have a social media page. You. It's uh, Skull King GM S C O K I. I N N G G M. Uh, that's my Instagram, and uh, I post whatever on there, so mm -hmm. I don't promote a business or anything like mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. it kind of gives you an insight into my life and uh, the things I like to do. But mm -hmm. generally, you'll see things that are active. Right, know? right. Because you're like you know mountain biking, and you know. Yeah, I do some things that a lot of people may not approve of, but yeah. I'm a hardcore adventurous, and you know I like to do things that. Uh, you might not see a lot of uh, us out there doing right, but, uh, right, I like the challenge. Right, right, right. Well, thank you once again, Scott, for taking your time to join us on this Get Your Ass Up and Move Fitness and Nutrition podcast. This is uh, recorded, recorded for Facebook as well, and that's okay with you, Scott? Oh, yeah. Or? No problem. Oh, okay. So we will um, post this video if you'd like to see our beautiful faces <laughs> as we have this conversation. And you can find me on um, YouTube at Barrett Fitness Enterprise on Instagram, also on Facebook. So until next time, you guys, Scott and I are out. Get your ass up and move, y'all. Thank you.